Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I have a few things to talk about. And one of them is about dancehall artist Popcorn, who is being accused of being afraid of his alleged ex-girlfriend, Kyla. And this comes after a big situation developed between him and the girl named Denik, the female reggae artist named Denik, or dancehall artist. Yeah, man, Popcorn tell her about her mother. And some people say Pop Popcorn afraid of the other girl because she come out and diss him and him never diss her back. Also, we say unruly squid diss up Denik. Yes, my people of course they know say squid now go there and make your style her brother or she feel like you're styling and she not get involved so me i show no what i go on they say is it my people also i go talk about queen africa revealing that her father Derek morgan you know she has same r a p e her me never really want to say the word still is it that's why i missed out about she has same touch her my people so we're going to talk about it and me go read the article and stuff right also we're going to talk about valiant getting a serious message about allegedly betraying his friend named whisper so me i played a video there also we're going to talk about some news that we're getting as it relates to vibes cartel artist sicker rhyme where here says sicker rhymes was sentenced to a three and a half years in prison overseas so we need to stick around and this news is coming from is baby mother or ex-wife or something like that so i'm gonna give you some more information on that also we're gonna talk about international r&b star chris brown being accused of dissing jamaican woman and this comes after chris brown must bring in some whole a girl from foreign and me are telling you know, people pure light-skinned girls and some people are wonder why i couldn't work with the jamaican girls them you know want see how much girls the, the um r&b star actually bring in so what we'll about that i'm gonna show now a few comments also so we're going to talk about dancehall artist conscience winning some money as it relates to a copyright lawsuit that was filed is him a copyright infringement so may i give you some more information on that but before we're going to further into the topics don't forget to like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time for would i definitely appreciate that right my people all right first thing we're going to talk about is the story that we're getting as it relates to sika rhymes right my people so this is coming from sika rhymes ex-wife right and it was actually posted over on pink wall and i guess she shared it on her um instagram status and she must have tagged pink wall in it because she want pink wall blast it out there right my people so basically it's a uh, my soon to be ex-husband oh so them not divorced yet soon divorce my soon to be ex-husband sika rhymes got sentenced to three and a half years in prison today for domestic abuse let this be a lesson to all you jamaicans who think you can come over here and get away with some Efries you keep up back home. Maybe in Jamaica you can literally get away with that, but definitely not here. Yes, it so shall make it be known. Say once you forward to America, you put your hands on a woman and you do certain things, you're not gonna get away with it. You can do it a yard, but not abroad. Yes, it so according to him, soon to be ex-wife, the entertainer was sentenced today to three and a half years. So I don't know if he might get deep after. I don't know. Maybe some people are asked about some deep argument and things so well for those watch and see boy oh boy let me know what you think about this in the comment section next thing we're gonna talk about is um popcorn zima people so yesterday female reggae artist or dancehall artist denik was basically wearing a shirt with popcorn on it must be eating a melon or something like that now apparently popcorn must have felt some type of way on him you don't know popcorn or the man will why everything you know so if you are wearing popcorn and eat a fruit on your, sh on your shirt zina don't know if i just buy she bite or she actually do the printing i don't really know zine my people but anyway pop can't feel away and him basically tell her about her mother so she actually made a post over upon her instagram page letting the people them know say pop can't tell me about my mother and him have strength for me but him not have strength for kyla a lot of persons say that zine my people say pop can only have strength for some people because we basically hear him respond to a lot of persons but him not respond to kyla who forward out and say him do this to her him do that to her and thing i am not saying that the entertainer is afraid but as i tell you what people are typing at the comment section right some people even feel like it make him look guilty footer hype at one point came out and say pop can need for answer or you know it are gonna make him look guilty or whatever but oh no no pop can i'm own man no boy or no girl can't tell him who for answer to you understand my people so that or that but more i know if you don't agree with that statement there say pop can is afraid to answer her no upon top of that we see unruly squid seemingly got involved in this whole situation and she basically <laughs> this up denique you understand so that same post that denique made unruly squid actually went 
in the comment section, even pop can be going in the comment section. So, unruly squid say, all the man them were effort this girl dirty hole in a dance hall, couldn't give her a buzz. Denik, you're sad like funeral. Clout is a BC jug brother. You see it? So they must say a jug she at, um, a clout she at look my means. Ian Popcorn did left a comment as well and him said B-I-T-C-H if you want some clout hear some. Go S your mother and, and don't play with me. You see it my people. So that's where Popcorn have to say and thing and thing. Boy oh boy me say unruly squid. Also you know I make couple posts and make people know say them can't bully her. Zane, she said, one thing you know about me, you can't bully me. Got S on a mother. And I guess that are people who I respond to what she has said because I see some people I respond to her. Some people are diss her up and thing. Is it? Um, she also make another post where she posts up popcorn and she said, Heavy is the head that wears the BC crown. You are the effing OG of this generation. And no P-U-S-S-Y test. Yes, it, my people. So, unruly squid. Now nah, make nobody this her brother. And she does make it slide. Yes, it. So, that's what she have to say. So, let me know anything about this, my people. Leave it in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Valiant. And somebody basically have a message to Valiant. Because allegedly Valiant turned him back upon him close friend named Whisper. I think Whisper did do an interview recently. Recently, and I reveal some things as it relates to Valiant. You understand me? I some more people. So, I'm not even going to do too much talking right now. I'm going to actually just play this video. I want you can tell me if you don't agree with what this person is saying as it relates to Whisper. You see it, my people. Listen to this. Valiant use a young juvenile when I rate from a juvenile. I rate you from your father used to hold you and carry you to school. From them time that as a juvenile, I rate how you humble and you calm valley. Then I see your boss out and you put the help on the map by announce to the world which part you come from so them know say, yeah man, how you from this I rise up. But valley, you know say you do something. A big man thing I no rate, brother, and with you, I see popcorn, just send up a picture try for style you. And I level him down for sure, I say, shouldn't this the youth that we are there? See, because you done this thing on stage and I try to style him again. But Valley, you do something, yeah, I, I, and your friend them do something, and you know what you do, see me, gun man. I mean, never rate that big man thing, see me? The two of you come from the same community, and the man who you know this come from the same community, because Valley, how you feel this whisper? Big man thing, Valley. Oh, you know for this whisper? Eh, I fully reverse that you're going in the Valley. Because you know whisper mother you know, and whisper no your mother. You know whisper you had enough you know, somewhere where you used to date a youth where you used to roll with as your charge. Before the music and the fame and everything, whisper was your friend where you had whisper foot and the youth kinda of guide you in know, the music. And you want to tell me say envy and bad man and hate which come in at the music now as you come in at the music against your friend my lad. Any man boss from no community and this the community or this no man from the community. You're not real youth. See me Valley? See you see this way and your friend them this whisper my youth. It never right Valley. You're a juvenile when me know from you. You're a juvenile. Me know your mother. Me know your father. Me know everybody for you. You know everybody for me. See him with you know my brother them, you know my sister them, you know my mother and you know my father. Said that come to all of your family members. I see them where say you know the whole of whisper brother them. You know whisper mother and you know whisper father. So no shouldn't this the youth value you should have give you the strength. Kayani come from the same ground, from the same area. You should have give you the strength for go out there instead of this the youth, my youth. See me? You are the hunger artist who bust from on the hill. And we spied the next artist who I go bust with two on with as strong as fuck. Cause where they brisk run up on you and try to style you know. I mean I see no 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 entourage a man this him or style him, you know. And you this whisper flat foot where you know say man now have no chance, so you make no shift now no run or no pull up on the man. And violate the man gun man. Away out the valley, big man thing, the man them run you. Them no real and them now sure say you can't this your friend them. See me? And none of them and them when I see a run and a crowd to you now, you know, say none of them never had a crowd to you. Last year and the last five years ago, none of them never had a crowd to you. I call you out now. Don't make the fame get to your head, Valley, and you are this some youth way enough for this. You shouldn't this whisper you. Ding on my bridging. See me? 
Cheryl and I'm a bridging. Whisper and my bridging, Henry and my bridging, them they are all whisper, brother, you know, the whole of them youth. The vibes where you are, where you are pushed against the youth, you know, if you dash it away, brother, one ill you know, come from, one ill top, gunman. So the vibes where you, know, where you are bring you, that no make it, and where your friend them are bring. Because Romeo and the whole of them are juvenile, we're growing up, we're handing up, and you know, juvenile, we grow under, we're handing up. And some little juvenile, but we now, this juvenile, but we now, this as a bigger man, you know, so my back, so I say, yeah, this is a little juvenile, but me know from my youth. So I said that, come know you from your youth, but you shouldn't this the youth at the TikTok Prime Minister talk. Yeah, I'm a little charge, yeah, I'm a little friend, and he's an artist, so I love and I rate general. But you see one of the whisper, fuck your brother. Come here and whisper, brother, them go school together. And we spot a juvenile for more man help and guide and grow. See me, yes, when me hear we go on, and then me see we spot for myself and know we go on, gun man, my becks. Come look and say, Valian, put the place on the map. So here we go on, them, I go rise some artists, like a cartel rise up with much artists. Take, take a book out a cartel, take a leaf out a cartel book, gun man. Take a leaf out a cartel book. Boss, some little man will run you if you get boss and you violate the little man, them gun man. For when you violate your friend, them, your last guy. If every man this year road, at the hill top of your refuge, if you go every ends you go up and you get violation, you go stick to the hill top. Don't this the youth, them gun man. You're a juvenile, see him where you may make millions, but you're still a youth, brother. Nobody come to a attack man. We are this your friend and make the world Jamaica love you. We don't want no more man a beat man in a music or a beat up them friend them gun man. Or a diss them friend them gun man. Cause you, oh you violate the youth and you know him mother brother. You may call him mother loser for your gun man. And everybody pan the ill proud of your gun man. We are do bad man. Fix up your thing gun man and straighten up the youth them run here. You can't parry that set of youth where they can't take your talking or you can't make no speech to them now. You drop them company you know. Cause them are make enough, 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 enough man out there pre year no gun man if I saw them are rolling up. Cause we spy your friend and shouldn't this him gun man, my best bad to valiant. You notice me not come and me try to violate your style, your this year and no bad word, me just talk you out. Cause you are my friend and you're a juvenile, I'm not for you, a juvenile gun man. I mean, I see you walk around and say, Valley, beg you, sweetie. Really, I'm proud of your youth. I'm not proud of when I see you do with the youth gun man. Big man thing. I mean, I forget boisterous or ignorant or arrogant to bring my message across. I know you are sick. If you want to tick tock them, you're supposed to see. You're supposed to see me defend you. So when I lose off of your gun man, just know I lose off of you. All right, my people. So that is the message that Valiant is now getting. You see it. So I don't know how this whole story go because you don't know this thing seem like it is more deeper than what Whisper actually forward out on the internet and say. You understand, my people. So I don't really know still, but um, you know, big up Valiant set speed. You see it. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about international hip-hop, su well, not hip-hop, R&B superstar Chris Brown, who is currently in Jamaica. Of course, you know, same I watch big show out here, Zane, Chris Brown and friends, and you know that show consists of some of our top entertainers like Idonia, um, you know, Ding Dong, TJ, and so forth. You see it, and I think Grams Morgan has been added to the lineup as well. Byron Messiah, the pony. But anyway, my people, um, basically, Chris Brown must be bringing some girls from foreign, right? And it kind of seemed like them did their um, club mecca zine. Now, a lot of Jamaicans, of course, are say, why am I for bringing in women? Why am I for import girls if him couldn't work with some of the Jamaican girls? Them And some people are say, Chris Brown no love dark-skinned women. I don't know if that's true or if that's a lie. Only can tell me if that's true, right? Me see people are saying no like black woman and thing or dark-skinned girls in. So me I actually shown in the video and then we're gonna run through a few of the comments them. And only can tell me if you don't find this offensive. I feel like Chris Brown is free for like way more like him not have to like black woman, him not have to like dark skinned women. I don't look on that as anything. Him can like white. You're just free for have your preference, you understand? But anyway, my people, check out the clip here. Yeah. Yeah. Barbie! <laughs> Love you too, baby. 
Alright, so that clip was posted and you don't know as me say holy people are like, cause people are say kiss me teeth. Well one person say kiss me teeth. Now understand Rihanna anger, he bright. <laughs> Somebody say no dark skinned woman. Somebody say Chris Brown doesn't like dark skinned women that is well known by anyone who follows him. A dark skinned woman will never be in his VIP section either. Yes it somebody say um, he really don't like dark skinned woman shape my effing head. So wanna say holy party Jamaican woman them are complain. Yes it them are say Chris Brown, you know, I move away and there were more comments. But obviously me can't go through all of them, is it? So let me know if you don't think that this is a slap in the face towards the Jamaican woman them, Chris Brown bringing in his own set of women, is it? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about Queen Africa basically exposing her father, Derek Morgan, right? My people so let me get to this article right away and of course me can't say the the, the r word me just maybe must me just have to say r only supposed to know what the r mean r a p e but me just have to say all right so anyway this is what the article i say Queen Africa claimed she was R by father Skia singer Derek Morgan. Remember when Queen Africa sang, Daddy don't touch me there, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell on you one day I swear. Well, the day come today with a damning allegation that her father, Skia legend Derek Morgan, did certain things to her several years ago. In an emotional Instagram live, the reggae artist, whose given name is Ventris Morgan, decided to be more vulnerable amidst backlash that she should rest her activism um, for abuse survivors. The black woman singer said she didn't know her father as a child as her mother kept them alienated longing for that father-daughter bond. She sought him out at one of his stage shows. When I met him, I went to him hotel and, and me ask him why him neglect me over all these years. And him just say him didn't marry and have children and him couldn't make him wife know him a deal with them something there. That's why him did tell my mother, Faye, get rid of me, the 48 year old said. So see me up on the battlefield for the most high, cause she never about me. After I meet him, I'm going to start get to know him because at the first me I have a father figure in my life, a the great Derek Morgan, a the great Sky Legend, column of her music. Africa said she would spend time with him when he came to Jamaica, which was disrupted after the alleged incident in Kingston. At the time, she was just getting to know the singer Tony Rebel. The two broke up in 2021 after 23 years. I went to visit him when he was in Jamaica on one of him visits went to his house over Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. I'm a daddy with him the day. You know, I end up spending the whole day with him because they don't know I'm a father and I get to know him. The hours come down and I'm supposed to take a taxi, come back a Prembe call. And him look for me and him say, no man, you mad, it's too late, stay. Better you stay and go in the morning. Remember now, I'm a father, don't. So if my father say, Bill, me I go Bill, don't. She continued, in the hours, I go to my bed and lay down on the bed. My father never ready to go to bed yet. And the next thing I wake up in the hours is my father a re -re me. I wake up in the hours to my father trying to do certain things to me. All are down and you don't know the rest, people. I don't want to say certain things. She went on to quote lyrics from the 2009 hit Daddy, including, Can't you see I'm scared? You're supposed to be my father. There were two versions of Daddy and I Freak, a critically acclaimed Montego Bay album, one in English and the other in Spanish. So, people, that's not the full article, but... You don't know, you know, that is self-explanatory when I just read, is it? I never think I need to read no more. Um, you know, I see a lot of persons that show support to Queen Africa. I see even Miss Vegas has same stand with her and thing. And we have to stand with her if she got through them things, my people, you see, because it's not a good, it's not a nice situation, especially, you know, allegedly, because me have to use the word alleged, because obviously I wasn't there. Allegedly, your own father. Come on, man. If I did one stranger, it wouldn't somebody. It would have bothered not somebody, no, right, my people? But, you know, when I don't know people. Just let me know when you think about this in the comment section, is it? And let's go move on to the next topic. 
So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist conscience reportedly win over what 20 something million dollars in a Jamaican dollars, but you don't know in a must see Ugandan shillings it was about it was over 600 million dollars him did win, is it? So let me get into this article right now. So it's a conscience reportedly awarded 667 million Ugandan shillings in copyright lawsuit against Airtel Uganda. Jamaican dancehall star Conscience has reportedly triumphed over Ugandan telecommunication giant Airtel Uganda as he was on Tuesday awarded 667 million Ugandan shillings, the equivalent of US $180,000 or $27.7 million in Jamaican dollars in a copyright lawsuit case involving several offices songs, Airtel Uganda, which is a subsidiary of India's Bar how this Barty Airtel Limited, was found liable for copyright infringement of conscience song in the lawsuit, which was originally filed in 2015, according to Music in Africa. On Tuesday, Ugandan High Court Judge Patricia Motesi ruled that Airtel and second defendant on on mobile global limited use the jamaica song as color tunes ringtones without his permission infringing on his copyrights on mobile was also ordered to pay conscience an additional 30 million ugandan shillings in exemplary damages judge motisi had also declared that the telecoms giant and his business partner had unjustly enriched themselves when they sold conscience songs without simple songs jamaica dance gala bubble no retreat and others as caller tunes to airtel subscribers at, at a rate of 600 ugandan shillings per download without his permission and and did not even remit him a portion of the proceed from his work. The companies were also found guilty of unfairly making use of DJ's other other songs, namely Sumitan and Jal of Me, Conscience Jazz Version and Stop Sign, under what was their 600 Ugandan shillings Hello Tunes program. According to Conscience lawsuit, the defendants had refused to account for the proceeds obtained from the infringement or to pay him any royalties. The Sherlock Chris native had requested that the court order the recovery of the profits generated from the sales of all his hit songs along with the general and exemplary damages as well as interest and legal costs he asserted his sole ownership of his intellectual property rights to some of the aforementioned track conscience contended that he had never transferred his copyright or intellectual property rights to the defendants the court case states the kingstonian had also sought a declaration from the court state stating that the defendants, by distributing his music without sharing the resulting profits with him, constituted both illegal behavior and a violation of his copyright. It is declared that by using and distributing the plaintiff's sweet songs as caller tunes without his consent, the first and second defendants are jointly and severely liable for infringement of the plaintiff's copyright in the said song, the judge wrote in her submission. It is declared that the first and second defendants' distribution of the plaintiff's song without remitting the proceeds to the plaintiff amount to unjust enrich enrichment, she noted a Additionally, over on Twitter, Ugandans mark the telecommunications company, which they also claim is renowned for providing subpar service, but argue that the sum they were compelled to pay over to conscience were merely chicken feed. So, yeah, my people, I mean, I read out the full article. Really and truly, I really chicken feed that still. You know, I'm should I get more money than that because I guarantee you say they make way more money than that, my people. But it's still a good look for conscience, is it? Big up yourself. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.